Yeah, I don't got no baby mama drama at all. So it was cool when she was on Diddy's boat and all that. Damn, damn, damn. Nah, I mean, she she knew better. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's a field trip behind me. They don't know it's me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get No, no, because I was dead to fuck serious. See, that's the thing people don't know. <laughs> Somebody was really no, 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 no. I've been engaged twice. I've been engaged twice. I'm not going to say with who, but I've been, I've been engaged twice. But um, marriage is not. It's Let's not Twitter going to find out. What made you get cold feet about it? It wasn't even cold feet. Like, I knew I wasn't going to do it. Damn. What? <laughs> and you asked anyway? Uh, word with me. Here you know BT. Sue so low. Shout out OC. Special guests in the building. We do snaps, Mr. Shaw Mars. Now we We ain't just anywhere. Where, where we at? Nah, I wanted to, I wanted to make it special. I didn't want to sit in the studio and do what everybody do. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to come, like make it more intimate. And we in Atlanta, of course. Uh, my mom's clothing store taste. She right in Midtown. Yeah, she's right in the heart of the city. If you stay in one of the nice hotels or any hotel in downtown Metro Atlanta, just pull up. You know what I'm saying? Go get you something from next door, some food next door. But I wanted to bring y'all to my home. I watched the show and you know, BT always leaving the crib. My house was like, I gotta go to I'm going to go going to go film. And I'm always like, man, everybody always at the desk. Everybody, I know they probably want to get the fuck out the studio sometimes. Yeah. So we, thank you for getting us out. out here. Hey, but look, I appreciate you pulling no, up because you know, sure, Ball bro. Alert and Bow Wow. Yeah, we for don't some have the reason. best connection at all. What know? happened with that? Why? Um, probably younger Bow. You know, for me, I'm. You know, I just go back to if you don't if you don't like me, I don't like you neither. Now what happened? You, you were what, what, was it because we were pro reporting something? Yeah, because sometimes the shit that blogs supposed to be false. Right. Was it the Bow Wow Challenge? No, not at all. No, this is way before. They, it's way <laughs> before that. Like, this is like, I always felt like, I don't know, like they just always fucked with me. For some but why do you feel like, I don't understand, why do celebrities get mad at, nah, it, at the media? About, it's not about getting mad. It's like, I don't remind you reporting the news that's public or if something happened. There's nothing I, I can do about that, right? Like, you take that with a grain of salt. It is what it is. It's going to get reported. But a lot of times, it could just be like, you know, maybe they always pick the wrong picture of you. Or maybe, you know what I mean? You know that's intentional. Or, or, or intentional. Maybe you, or, right? Or maybe the girl that I was meeting with was my agent because she's a hot agent. And then you report this is Bow Wow's new boo and that shit is so false and she's and married you losing and all your I'm other getting girls. texts from like 40 girls talking about oh my God, you were just with me last night with this bitch you walking out with nah bitch nigga I saw a baller alert it's all over baller alert so and it's like what baller <laughs> alert of like, making it up what nah I mean just or however it just gets I'm not just saying just baller alert but there's millions of you know what I'm saying blogs out here that report stuff and there are some things that are false. There are stories that get reported where there's some truth. And there's some shit that comes out and it's like, these motherfuckers is way wrong. And, you know, but that's me. It's not just, this is anything. Like, I'm. So it's just something that probably was falsely yeah, reported. Like you got ago, mad. Like, you I'm probably like, comment I'm some like, I'm crazy like, I'm like, shit. I'm like, these niggas never report the, like, none of the good shit. But I think that's any any celebrity to say that, right? Like, even in sports, like, Kevin Durant's a good friend of mine. He'll Him tell and you. Charles Barkley hate each other right you now. You know what I'm saying? But, but that, but that's really, actually but yeah. entertaining. But that we, actually entertaining. First take, we love first take and undisputed. They do the same thing that the media does in our culture to the sports world. So it's no different than when you see Katie clap back at Charles Barkley when Dame gets at Skip Bayless on Twitter. That, that's their, that's their Charlamagne. That's their ball alert. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I'm going with it. So, and I think that you just it's that defensive mechanism that lives within us. Like, all right, my niggas, only be so long. I'm let you play with me, and then. We gonna start pulling up, or we gonna start. We gonna get to the common ground of why you always be on my ass with certain shit. Certain shit is self inflicted, but sometimes shit be left. Yeah, but, but listen, we, we don't. We not talking about it. We don't post so nothing. Like, we, we don't post. We, 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 we in the bow wow business. Yeah, yeah. We nah, we, nah. Listen, I ride with. Listen, I like show me when all the bottles come out when they bring out the ball, the black card and all that shit. You know, they be, <laughs> they bring out the ball alert. They don't never post that with me. Like me, <laughs> Robin, we gonna, we gonna make that happen. All the, I be in the section, we be, it be, BT know how I pull up. He see us, we be, 
outside, outside. They never post. Outside, the, outside. The, the, they don't post when the, the 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 fireworks and all that. Post that. We just spent sixty thousand in twenty minutes on bottles. You want to know why? We you want to know why see, though? They, they don't want that. They don't. They don't, the, the, they don't want that. The, the clicks and the likes and the comments. I don't like that. But it's called hey. baller alert. That means you <laughs> but, but, but listen. But so the, why not, but the why average person wants to be in your business. The app. Listen. Let me that tell is you my business. No, no. Spending sixty this, k this on is what, bottles. This is what's wrong with celebrities. And you celebrities, at least no. six of them and taking two home. I, I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> but celebrities, y'all don't understand. The average folk that's watching this right now, they don't care about y'all lavish lifestyle. We don't care about what you drive or anything. They want to care about. They want to know if Jay Z cheating on Beyonce. Yeah, that's what they want to know. That's what they want to know. They don't want to. They don't want to know Jay Z worth two billion. They want to know where about our son at. Yeah, at home where he should be at. (laughs) You know. Yeah, like stuff like that stuff is just so weird to me. Like. I'll never get that part of the game. But as you just talk about how invested your fans are. No, no, no. That's true. But I get like, that's probably like the only thing that's weird to me. Because even before I was famous, I've never been invested in no one's life but mine. First of all, you've been famous your whole easy. life. How nah, was that's it? not true. This Take shit us back there. This shit wasn't easy, man. Um, well, I'm born in Columbus, Ohio, so it all started there. Um, you got to think, I didn't pop off until I was 13. I met JD at like 11 and I sat for two years. We did a song on the Wild West soundtrack, didn't go nowhere. Before that, of course, it was my death row days, you know, from six to maybe like nine, and then went back home to Columbus. And then, you know, my moms came on the football field like, yo, we gotta go to Atlanta, we gotta go meet this guy. I'm like, who is it? And at the time, I didn't even, I never heard of JD at the time. So, um, but that's pretty much how it was. But growing up, like I said, I played football growing up. Mom, you still got all my trophies in storage? All my trophies that I had at the, at the old house? Yeah, like I, I had I had a normal childhood. Like went to regular school like anybody else did. Um, it's funny because I always get told like you've been famous your whole life shit. And I'm like, no, I didn't get famous until I was like 13. But if you want to consider that my whole life, then I understand. But that's but most of the time nah, where kids are go actually gonna room, remember just, life. It's more than half I don't life. remember yeah, when no, I was absolutely. Eight. Did you have the intention on wanting to be famous? No. Um, I would just recite music around the house, entertain my mom's guests, and you know. That that red and yellow blue Fisher Price set with the mic. I don't know. I know it's a lot of people watching. I had it. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Tape, put mm-hmm. it in, there, record. That was like my everything. So I would always tell jokes. I was supposed to be a comedian first. My mom contested that. I was. I wanted to be a comedian. You were supposed to be a comedian. Yes, I was not supposed to be a rapper. But being that, <laughs> but being that I wanted to be a comedian so bad, I believe that me imitating people and doing all that type of stuff led me to be able to imitate rappers because mm-hmm. my mom would always listen mm. to rap music so i would emulate in what i saw on the tv that's what i would do i would just redo it grab a brush and that was just all a part of it until i got it and i was like okay put it all together it's like it's in a, so she saw something in you and kind of dedicated her life to helping you be like kind of like what beyonce dad did more yeah more of like right place at the right time type of thing. I, first of all, when I tell this story, people always say, how did your mother- Cause your it? mama held you up like Simba. Yeah, but my, but it, it's crazy. Cause when I tell the story, people be like how, like, how did you even get in there? But I don't think it's an age restriction on concerts. Is it? I mean, I don't know. I don't look at tickets. Uh, yeah, not most. Co- but right? if you, but if you go into a Snoop Dogg concert, I mean, this is I mean, this is when they, yeah. they, they was, they, this is, yeah, I don't think so neither, man. Like, but there's but, no but legal I, I age think I, I must have went because there was no babysitter. I think I don't know why, but I Wait, went. But Mama T, so you held him up like like Simba, and you said, "Pick my baby to come up here and rap." She said, "I started rapping." Right, at yeah, four. I started rapping at four. That's when I started learning how to put words together. And so went to the Chronic tour, and then you know AJ Johnson got rest in peace. For those that don't know, that's Ezel from Friday. He was the host. Of the whole tour, the Chronic tour. This is like in '93. The and, uh, Chronic tour. How Did you much we was that getting intention smoked? for him to be on stage or not at all. Oh, oh. Mama said read the book. Mama said read it. That's the plug right there. All right, welcome to Ball Alert. This is my mother's new book. We're gonna pause for this quick ad, real quick. Uh, make sure you guys get a copy of this book right here. I once was her by my beautiful mother, Teresa Caldwell. A lot of women empowerment, a lot of things you can learn, and you can learn about her journey, and hopefully you can uh, put some of those things in your life and uh, follow the same path. You were signed to Death Row, and you posted that you were signed to Death Row, and everybody thought that was fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what happened was, being that da- Daz was the one who really grabbed me and brought me to the back. Daz is so talented. Yeah, Daz is the one. Like, a lot of people don't understand. They don't really give Daz his props. Like, Daz, one of the, if not the best, 
rap album of all time, All Eyes on Me, that's Daz production. Mm -hmm. Like people think like that's that's Dre all eyes because on it was me. around that time, but Daz was the one who did that album, which he's one of he's the like coldest the, beats. I, uh, yeah. It ain't no fun, I, Daz. I, I, yeah, I, I, that's I his consider, favorite song. I consider Daz like, and don't take this the wrong way, but the reason why I say this is because if you strike, if you hit the lottery one time, you set, and Quincy hit with Thriller. And I feel like Daz hit with yeah. all, all, all eyes on me. Like dumb. he is like the West Coast legendary like Quincy, West Coast Quincy Jones, Jones of rap because that. he has that one, and he don't got to do nothing else ever again. Got I got, a, I got a question. I always wanted to ask you this question. Yes, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> right, yes. yes. What is it, Rory? Was that beef? Was there ever real beef between you and Lil Romeo? No, I was about to answer. It was that never. For you. It was never real nah, beef. Nah, not and at all. And were you guys like cool or? Yeah, I remember years ago, like All Star Weekend in LA, like we kicked it. I think like me, him, and like Raven Simone, like, you know, the, the the Hollywood clique. Like we, Rome would always be around. We would always play ball at UCLA. Um, myself, him, and, you know, uh, Mr. Jordan, well, Michael Jordan's sons, Marcus and, and Jeffrey, who were like really close friends of mine. And so we would always be around each other. I think it was more of, the outside people was it media that kind of yeah of course because it's it's like like i said it's like sports it's just it's and you brought him out talk. during the verses yeah soldier brought him out during the verses and you know which was a cool moment for him he gave everybody their roses and you know what i mean I, I think rome he he catches a lot of slack and you know if you know him uh you'll know that he's a really really good dude like, yeah rome very, is very a good humble dude. doesn't bother nobody um very smart and like i said he's, he's always set out the way but we we had that one-on-one -on -one conversation and we just felt like it was just outside people that wanted to see that and you know when I came out I'm crib walking and I'm doing my thing the Mickey Mouse chain he got the Buzz Bunny chain he Harlem shaking like me and, and until he just told me like you know I took it like as a form of flattery because once he explained what was going on from from, from his mouth I respected it you know he's like yo bro I looked up to you that's just what it is all right like you were my favorite growing up like I couldn't help that I looked up to you and I wanted to do what you did like you made it possible for all of us to believe that we can all rap you know what i mean and i was like damn i never really thought about it like that so like, it was never a diss when you said 18 making that, more than your that dad line, that line was not for p that man when i heard that line i was like damn and, and, I, and i felt like it was it was it was um it was messed up because a lot of times how situations get a lot of times people throw themselves in, in situations and make it something like that line 18 that was stunting on any young nigga that hate on bow like yeah. nigga i'm it's the truth nigga i make more than your daddy nigga i'm 18 what 18 year old you know show me your daddy so that was for like all the <laughs> that was <laughs> that was for i didn't feel like it was a diss yeah, no nah, it wasn't like that was more of that is just to the general pop i'm just letting you know i'm so because you you always talk crap and in, in all throughout your records anyway yeah, if, if if i'm gonna say something i'm gonna say your name like i'm not gonna shy away from it like if i'm gonna say something i'm gonna say the name I don't really believe in. No, I always thought you was talking about Romeo over there. Cause nah, my, but I, my, but my, I felt uh, like at the time it was that you know whoever it was took that opportunity and said this is it. So listen, I want to know this. You've been on tour with everybody. You've been on two tours in the past twelve months. The next tour, what is what is who's somebody tour that you haven't toured with that you've always wanted to go on tour with? Man, I'm I'm too loyal. I like I like making I like making money with my with my bros. And they are like Omarion and Pleasure P or Nah, I you know You know what I think would be a good tour? Who do you think? Bow Wow and Chris Brown. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Um Bros for Life. That would know? that would be a good tour. Yeah, we need to do the Bros for Life tour. You know, I think it'd be dope because <laughs> yeah, my mama's saying something. Mama's trying to tell you something about you, you, you not paying attention. Say it, say it. Oh, oh Snoop. Snoop. Oh yeah, nah, definitely, dog. But 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 the that, thing that, is, that but the thing fine. is, that was a good whisper. <clears throat> yes, my okay. mom in the back. Um, she wasn't gonna miss this day for nothing. Mama. You can, you can, yeah. You can do, you can <clears throat> um, nah, yes. but but the only thing is, I, I toured already with dog. Like I, even though I toured with Brown too, but I toured with dog, and dog is so busy. Like his. Snoop Dogg is doing that everything. That's what I was going to ask like, you about the reinvention of Bow Wow because it seems like Snoop has reinvented himself over and over yeah. and over again. Did you see Snoop Dogg at WrestleMania? Man, you know what I'm saying? That's why they love him because, like, you know, he don't got to be the best wrestler. It's the fact that he out there doing it and it's, and it's comical and it's entertaining. But yeah, that's my dog. Like, I, I love, I love, uh, but you um, can't smoke weed with Snoop Dogg. Uh, I, I've tried. 
and I have failed once. Man, I hit I hit the but blow I'm the re- But I'm the reason why. Oh, yeah, I brought you. Man, yeah, listen. I, yeah, all that. I all, hit that all, weed. Mom get him in trouble on ball eight. I ain't huh? in trouble. They don't do drug tests, y'all. Oh, no, no, no. This is podcast. I'm just messing with my mom. Hey, we ain't on the radio no more. We can say whatever. BT smoke. We ain't never seen it. Nah, but I tried to hit that weed. I brought him to the studio one time, and I said, I said, now, you don't like the smoke, but nigga, you gonna, it was like, that sent out a Friday. I always hear this crazy. Get you out yeah, of I said, I want to see you deny Unc when we when we go to the when we go in the studio. We went in there and of course Unc feel like whoever I come in the studio with. Right, smoke. They smoke. Cause now, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a little snoop. So he, he Unc just casually talking. He just passed BT. And my BT look at it like, damn, I really don't want to hit it. Like you can't inside, say no, the, it's Snoop Dogg. The, the inside it's of Snoop Dogg. The inside of BT was saying, I don't want to hit this I shit. I definitely was like, I don't want to yeah. hit this shit. And when he hit it, BT was out of there. I think we left something at the airport. You left something happened after we left. Something I, got left. This this is what I happened. remember. We was we was filming grown up hip hop. Well, you and Snoop was filming a scene, and I remember we was all having a conversation. He passed bow to bow, passed it back to Snoop. Snoop passed it over to me. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, I can't tell Snoop Dogg. No, no yeah. Yeah, you got to hit. Man, I hit that blunt when I tell you we was, when they was filming that scene. I was just looking and I forgot where I was at, and I was like, why am I here? That's yeah, what I was thinking he was in my head. I'm like, I'm like, oh <laughs> hell no! See, don't want to be smoking that shit. Yeah, man. BT done lived a, a, a magical life, man. B, I must say this, man. We we in my business, man. This dude where y'all, y'all see? Yeah, we th- appreciate you putting your arms around him. Yeah, too. man. BT done lived an amazing last six years. He's done seen a lot of shit. Correct me, yeah, because like, you kind of stole him from me. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, Mars. You kind of stole him from me. I hated BT when I first I, met I, him. I didn't, didn't like him either. either. I didn't like him either. BT, thought- BT had this booking right. And it was in Charlotte. We met in Charlotte. Yep. And he's on the mic. He's hosting. So you know, typical host. We gonna shit. see his side of the story. I'm gonna tell you the real, <laughs> the, the typical, real side. The typical host shit, right? He, he's on the mic. He's doing this thing. It's packed. It's crazy. He comes over to my section like, cool, cool. BT's like, yo, you you got come. You gonna come to the stage when, when you go perform? I'm like, nigga, perform. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I ain't about to perform. Man. Come to the they mic. They pay me for that. I'm like, nigga, I ain't doing that. He like, man, but you got to, man. And they got the, you know, in, in North Carolina, I'm sure y'all done been to Charlotte plenty of times. You know, they keep the bottles in cages. You can't yeah, touch the bottle. Yeah. That's the craziest thing in the world. You can't touch the bottle. So I'm already mad about Especially that. Especially coming from Atlanta. I'm pissed. I, I already know. Right? So I'm, I'm I, he over there talking to somebody. I'm like, man, I'm not getting on the stage. There was some more to it. And then I eventually took some shots and got my black ass on the stage. No, he seen how I was rocking. Because this is what I told him. I said, listen. Yeah. I was hosting, so I'm like, first of all, the party was crazy. I'm like, damn, this shit is crazy. You want to be over there in the corner? Can't nobody even see you. You know, so I'm going over there, and he's just like, oh, man, uh, man, I can't even touch the bottles, Mom, yeah, man. What type pissed. of shit is this? I was pissed. And then I was like, bro, this is their law. Like, I, 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 I can't do nothing about this. He was like, man, we'll tell them to, uh, to open up the bottles so we can drink and party and stuff. They got the shit locked up. So then I'm like, man, this dude over here being a damn asshole and this shit is packed and he want to be here in the corner hiding from all the people. So then I remember it was just starting to get crazy. And then I was like, hey, man, you might want to come over here. I was like, hey, you might want to come over here. here. It It was all, we put up in all the forms. So we drove all the cars up from Atlanta that had rolls and everything. We went stupid up there, but that's that's when we met. I, I do remember because he came back to Atlanta. He was like, hey, man, I was hanging out with Bow all weekend. I said, okay, that was up. The next thing I know, he ain't hanging out with me no more. He hanging out with you. <laughs> yeah, you man. You like somebody stealing your friends. Yeah, you steal my friends, too. You steal, you steal all my friends. But it's all good. Why are people so surprised when Drake gave you your flowers and Drake was on Instagram giving you such big props? Why would people like, why is Drake doing that? I just feel like people do not give you the respect you know that you have earned you know throughout your career why do you think that is it never bothered me but within the past five years though, i've been getting it so i ain't even been tripping mm-hmm. you know I, what i'm saying i do believe not, that you ba- have been earning it though yep like now that's all out from the you people know, that's all i hear now is, nigga, you a legend wherever nigga, you go nigga, you know you like and i i don't know if once again it's that conversation that dude had with me it's, it's me taking yeah, back I, what's mine you know yeah. what i'm saying and mm-hmm. when you stop the bullshit and you go to work mm-hmm. and, you, and you just and you get back on track and they see you winning and all you throwing out is damn he, he doing arena tour damn he, do, he coming right back the next year with the same arena tour damn they doing arenas again and you know what i'm saying it's like you just go to work the, the, the easiest way to kill shit is go to work that's all you gotta do is shut up and go to work and um and and that's and that's really all i did so after i did verses and cash saw the body of work like damn damn we forgot about damn that one too damn that's the okay 
Nah, that's it. That's it. And when I watched, I watched our verses. I rewatched this morning. Everybody was in the in the what did you call it? The comment, the comment thing. Yeah, that thing. when y'all was live. I'm showing my age, y'all. My bad. The, yeah, that thing. I'm about to say the chat room. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about, about to say the chat room. But nah, yeah, the comment section. Like, I rewatched. I'm like Drake in here. Drake telling Soldier, why didn't you call me? I would have came out and I would have did. No, you better be. You Nigga, better be glad here. Call you. Better be I didn't glad. give a fuck if Drake would have called my mama. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> you're, not, you're not on the radio. You can cuss. Oh yeah, I don't want to cut from my mama though. But I don't, I don't like. I'm such a competitor. Sorry, I'm such a competitor that I wouldn't have cared at all if he did, if Drake did come out. Because me, being that me and Soldier had this, you know, we we was in cahoots. We put this whole thing together. It started with us with the verses. It would have done nothing but just made that whole entire verses even more of an experience and even more legendary. The fact that you know one of the best rappers out right now can't pop up for his own verses or probably wouldn't do his dual verses, but he came out for Bow Wow Soldier. You see what I'm saying? And that just shows you the time that we came in and the work that we put in. Like a lot of these rappers grew up on us. Like I just seen something with Wiz was like, when he was in school, he he, he looked like me or his braid wanted to be bad. They called him Bow Wow at school. You know what I'm saying? And I'm older than Wiz. Like, so it's like, you know, Drake giving me his flowers. That's it ain't just me, but Drake is a fan of just the culture. I am a really big fan of you, the actor. One of my personal favorites was when you did CSI. Oh, uh, I appreciate it. The CSI uh, series, Cyber. Cyber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a big fan, and then the season went away, and you know what happened? Yeah, see, so we got up to uh, season two. Um, season one. I was going back and forth from LA to New York. That was a crazy transition for me because I was hosting 106 full time. You was doing that as well. And I, I was that. flying to LA to be on set to shoot CSI. Long so ass flight. Bro, listen, <laughs> I was doing this shit twice a week, every week, like taping three episodes in a day, every day, then taking the flight out to LA and doing that. So season one was crazy. And then it, I, I'm gonna admit this right now, like that was the hardest acting I've ever done in my acting career. Great like, job, that's you the, did a great job. Like, that's the, like that was the Harvard law of acting. Like shows like Law and Order and CSI, like the monologues and the fucking, the, 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 I mean, just everything about shows like that is so tough. If you can do a show like that, you can do anything. Like I don't get, like you can do anything. So they need to put some respect on Ice T name. Most definitely. Like those shows are tough. They're tough. The the dialogue, I mean, just everything, the dialect, the pronunciation of certain words, you know what I'm saying? We, we from where we from, you know what I mean? So. When you do that type of shit like data, some people say data. It's like they have a certain <laughs> way. Like we was getting fucked up on words like that on set. Like no, I, I actually thought that was gonna be your like iced tea moment. Like oh, that was like, like oh, yeah, I, was, I, was, I, yeah, I think everybody did. You know, I, I, agree. I just think that when you have a show like that or like a Law and Order, and you you know it's been on for twenty plus years, and then you try to do spinoffs from the original. Um, it could become a lot. It's something that we've already seen before. So I was just, I was fortunate enough that I got a chance to work with Patricia Arquette, who was an Oscar award winner. Um, you know what I'm saying? And just being around everybody and and, and, and working with, you know, the, the whole CBS and CSI family. I mean, it was just dope to be a part of it for me to even get casted for. Cause how I got the role was, I was literally in my dress room at BT and they called me like, yo, I'm like, I'm CSI. I'm like, I ain't turning that shit down. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, this is it. Nigga. No, wait, don't stop there. I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm waiting on LL to like get a yeah. little older. So yeah, we can, yeah. Let me Back. step up in that CBS spot, bro. Let but me get wait, that wait, on wait, that. wait. So. You've had lead roles in big movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is not just like, you're not just a regular person. So I'm just yeah. trying to, I really want to give you your flowers, bro. Like, you Appreciate really it, bro. did some big movies. One of my favorite movies you did acting was Lottery. Appreciate it. Yeah, everybody did a great job too. in that. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, but, how do you dif differentiate, you know, the music? Cause I started seeing you when you doing the acting, I'm over here like, yeah. okay, he doing music again. Yeah. I was like more of a fan of the actor. Yeah. Even though you made dope music, I yeah. was like, yo, this is it right here. This is the. You know what's crazy, bro? A lot of people always ask me like, what do I like better? Or when's, when's the music coming? Or when, when, when are you doing another movie? And it's so crazy because when I look at it, I'm like, damn, I really started on both at the same time. So even I'm understanding why people put the acting thing on me so tough. I never really realized that. I felt more of a the rapper. I think it's, it's just such a great actor that people- You did really it, good. It could be that, but I also think, like I just thought about this, I'm like, damn, my first movie was like Mike, and that happened right after my first album. I, was, I didn't even drop my second album yet. So which now one know, made like, you the most money? All which, of them. Which, I mean, which one makes more money? The movies oh, or the oh, oh. music? I mean, of course, depending on how much input you put into the game, if you put out new material or if you got 
that shit that just lasts forever that's just classic shit where you ain't even got to drop new shit and you're just already stamped then yeah you doing them festivals you're gonna run it up a couple mil throughout the summer you know what i mean so yeah it, it can it can get crazy but for me i love things that are organized and the structure of hollywood and, and, and um, the, the the movie business is so structured the way that's like a nine to five it's some shit that as a musician we not accustomed to you know what i'm saying you get a schedule you know what you're doing you know when you get paid you getting paid on the same day man i was pulling up to the cbs lot on my day off like we got paid on fridays every friday and i wasn't on schedule and i had an off day i was free from set down on the friday like i'm pulling up i want to see that mother I'm, I, look I, i've never been a, a pick up a check nigga i always direct deposit or i'm picking up the bag so I had to, you know, I'm pulling up on the, on the rolls on the CBS lot. I'm pulling up, good looking. I take it right to the ATM and deposit that motherfucker. Man, every week you getting it. So it's like when you see that, you like, damn, if I can, if I lock this shit, we going to syndication. It's over. I'm about to retire off CSI. Like, I ain't got to do that's shit. That's what I thought. You know what I mean? I was the so, biggest fan no, of the CSI the, shit. That's the, that is the goal when you're doing um, a television series or a sitcom. You want to hit five episodes. When you hit five and they say this is the final season, just know that... A lot of a lot of them still do have to work, but for a lot of them, man, it's a wrap. Like once you do five, it's over. What do you, you mean by go. that? You get five episodes. That's it. I think you get like six seasons. That's like the, the standard. When you get that, like you see our snowfall, I believe this is their fifth or sixth. So um, final season, right? So once you get to that, it's it's a wrap. Like now you're going to start seeing it on other networks. It's syndicated. It, it, you know. So you said the check's check going to keep out for the rest of his life. He'll get a check from Snowfall. Yeah. For the rest of his life, it was getting like a million dollars an episode on Friends. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, like nah, that's, it's that's some crazy I'm saying, money. Should I'm saying it get like that? You get to sit back and enjoy life. Yeah, time I mean, with your kids. Yeah, traveling. it's the best. It's the best shit in the world. But then, as a rapper, you feel like, damn, I've been so detached from the culture. You know what I mean? That's the that's the other side of it that people don't understand. It's been so many times where I'm on a movie set and I feel like I'm the coldest rapper ever. Like I'm just, I just feel. Like no one knows me because I'm on a lot. I'm on a set for three months. I'm not traveling. I'm not hitting no other cities. I'm not, You're not posting. Going to I'm clubs. not shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm right here and I love it because I can I get a chance to do normal and it's shit stable. that I don't do exactly. But um, it's tough too. It can play mind tricks on you because you're like, damn, I don't hear myself on radio. I don't. Not, I don't got any concerts. And then you gotta wait they, till the movie and the, or and, the show yeah, comes and, out. It takes yeah, like a year, it's, two it's years. Like a, it's like a mind fuck because you gotta tell yourself it's like an investment. It's yeah. like, all right, I might not be hot right now, but watch when this motherfucker movie come out. Watch when this out, movie though. come out. Yeah, I just rap, nigga, in three months, watching this trailer right <laughs> on the Super Bowl. Yeah, when y'all see this fast, yeah, all right. So it, it, oh, yeah, it goes up. Fast and Furious, damn. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it goes up. So, um, you got I, any I new like things coming up? Yeah, well, Fast 10 is, is, is getting ready to come out. Um, I'm not in that one, but there is uh gonna be one more after that so we're hoping and we just did nine uh which is the latest one before the one that's about to come out which had all of us in it me luda the whole entire gang for the first time so that's what the fans wanted to see they wanted to see all of us come together on some like avengers type of shit. so i believe um the last one the last final one will have all of us uh back again and there's some more good things that they're doing too but as far as the acting stuff absolutely um bt just had to read with me not too long ago oh we ain't yeah say what it was yeah yeah with, yeah, with yeah. Us, but it's you a pop, tell a pop, us that, BT. A, a pop. Damn, bro you were with us every week and don't not tell BT, us BT, he read like he read with me like yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, read, read I read he sucks but he's oh. my, my brother so you know i had to i had to I do what i had to ask, do do you have an acting coach no never never I feel like it's just something that's gotta be in you. Either you got it or you don't. Okay, gotcha. Um, it can be taught, but I think even before you get to schools like Juilliard and all of these performing arts schools and acting schools and all of this now, stuff. Now, don't be giving these rappers any ideas, yeah, man. Say, hey, hey, everybody like a, can't uh, act. A young Miami's <laughs> role in BMF. Somebody asked me that. And it's I wanted the truth. And I wanted why people were asking me this. Until and I'm a big fan of the BMF show. But it didn't bother me. Like, I just, it didn't bother me. Because I, it's, it's, it's young Miami and she's branded. Like I know her accent is only so like you know what I'm saying. So that's why I accepted. I don't I don't look at her as you know as I would look at you know uh, um, a Megan Good or someone that's had a history or a long you know some some acting background. So of course I'm sure she got the role because of her influence and because of who she is. She's popular. Oh, you think people just hating on her because she actually yeah, I mean is on the show. Let's see them do it. Acting is tough. Yeah. But, you know that's that would be my response if I was her. Let me see you get your your ass up here and do this shit and remember these lines remember your mark you know what i'm saying remember all the little lingo that goes on on set when filming mm -hmm. and, i mean it's tough I, I see cats that are naturally gifted but put them in front of a, a on a set and it's time to bang it's like oh shit they not who oh damn that's crazy 
<laughs> like I done seen that no, so yeah, many that's times. That's why I was asking about the acting coach because I was gonna yeah. ask if you suggest that or if you don't. But you said if you no, got no, it, no. you got it. If you don't, you if don't. You, I mean, you can learn. Anybody can learn. You you could not have a good jump shot, but if you spend a lot of time in the gym with a, with a coach, the shot's gonna change. You should be able to get better. So I think any anything you do, if you put the, the time into it, you're gonna become good at it. But for me, shit was just natural. Like all the roles that I've got. They just came to me at the right moment in my life, which made it easy for me to just pull that shit off. So like, you know, for instance, roll bounce. I was 16, going on 17. I cut all my hair off. I was in a, you know, becoming a, a man thing. Me and my mom, you know how that is growing up. Even famous motherfuckers, we still go through that whole becoming a man, becoming of age thing. So I was in a dark spot living in Chicago all by myself, no homies with me, my own apartment in, in the middle of Chicago. And, um, you know, it was just a dark spot, me and JD, fell out again I was probably with the third time maybe <laughs> like you know what I mean so I was in a, a hole so when I got a chance to express it through a craft like acting and beat the car up and cry and all that all that shit was real emotion and real pain that I was going through you know what I mean my dealing with my first publicized girlfriend at the time and just dealing with so much shit and it was like you know for real I really felt like that was like a comeback like damn I gotta find myself and get back before I lose this shit type of shit that was that's what was, kept getting repeated in my mind is I don't I don't know if I'm gonna ever be Bow Wow again and that was like on my third album so question why do you and JD keep falling out um I just explained this to somebody well first of all I, I we had a conversation not too long ago well not even a comment well yeah we did have a conversation I'll keep that was it good there I'll keep that there you know just know the world can know he was I, loud. I, I, I pulled up yeah I was loud BT was there. BT's always there. BT's a good friend. BT, hey, look, 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 hey, bro, BT does He never tells us yeah, anything that that's happens to you. Bro, you know man. that, right? That's why, that's why that's why he's my real bro, friend because he works for Baller Alert. He could be telling us. But details. listen, that's why. That's why I feel like I I am able to be in certain rooms because I have seen other uh, platforms be denied and getting in certain. Answer rooms. the question, though, shot. We spoke. On, we spoke our piece not too long ago, face to face, um, and then. He did a baller alert, not not a baller alert. I'm sorry. He did the breakfast he club did the breakfast interview, club. and um, I saw that. I immediately hit him. You know what I mean? I'll say that we made a little pat that we ain't even gonna speak on this. We ain't even going. We just going. But why it, you didn't? Why you didn't like when he right. said something about you on the breakfast club? Because I feel like JD did a great job deflecting the question. It, it, it's, it's like this. Fuck it. I told him to his face. I said, "You a fan of Star Wars? You love Star Wars? We we know this. If you know JD." He's a fucking fanatic when it comes to Star Wars. And I'm like, you know the story very well. It's like Obi-Wan and Anakin. That's me and him. It's the, the OG who know it all, been through it all, got the years, you know what I'm saying? Got, you know, all the recognition. And then Anakin, who then turned to Darth Vader later, was the young protege of Obi. Always the one ready to get out there and, and, and get it cracking. Then Obi always like, no, 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 no. You're not ready yet, you're not ready. But hold up, but listen to this. It really be knowing what he's talking about. And they always butt heads because they so much alike. It's like Obi raised Anakin, you know what I mean? So then the, the heartbreak comes when he becomes Darth Vader. Obi stayed the good guy, and then there you go. That's the that's pretty much like the story of me and JD. Same type of person, different outlooks on certain things, but you know we just we just better apart. Did he agree with that? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I can appreciate that stance on both of y'all. But I but I'm a priest of everything. And I and I told him this. Like I'm a priest of everything that he's done. Um And I know. feel like Brett has to, it always reminds you of that every time. Like he has done Brad so has much. Brett's always gotta jump in, the, in, in in motherfuckers' business. Brad just I being think it's Brad. love though. But that, nah, I got I got hella I got hella love for Brad. You I know love what I, mean? she, I love y'all relationship. Yeah, that's why I ain't respond to her when she when she came out and, and said You know, Brad gonna something. always be there and and defend she gonna Shady. You gonna she be gonna in the shower? Right. Um, I don't know about all that, but I, I, just congratulations to her. You know what I'm saying? I'm really like at peace where I'm at. Like I feel like even when me and even when me and Dude was close, and Dude, even you can attest Betty. to this. Yeah, even you can attest to JD. this. <laughs> even you can attest to this. You know what I'm saying? It was more hanging out and kicking it. It yeah, wasn't no yeah. work involved. So when people be like, "Where I'm like me, we, me and that me and that man ain't worked together in over nine years." Like I don't need JD when I'm acting. I don't. Call him when I'm reading my script or I'm going out for an audition. I ain't got nothing to do with music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Friends. When I'm doing CSR, when I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was it. Like, and 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 that's all it, it really was. You know what I mean? So I, I wish him nothing but the best, but I don't think, I, I just think that we better off doing our own thing. I don't agree with that. I think I that, mean, of course, I, you got I think that eventually uh, you guys are going to, you know, you got to let the, the family 
uh, come together when it's time. And that's why you said like, even though I, I've, I've been around these heated discussions and Facts. and all those things, and I can't keep it to myself because I don't believe in picking anybody's side. I always see JD. Yeah, he was always just, say he, was, to JD. Yeah, he was just with him. Uh, Couple weeks at the at the concert. What, did you go to the concert? Yeah, I did go to the division concert. But yeah, it's always love with JD, man. I just, you know, I, I just don't like people picking sides because I feel like even with the with the Birdman and the Wayne situation when they was going through what they was going through, it's kind of like you just got to be like, hey, man, they're gonna eventually get together. So you over here picking this person's side and picking this person's side. When they get back together, yeah. they gonna they gonna remember all the people that was pinning them against each other. Yeah. And that's why I always say, man, bound JD, man. Hey, when people ask me, man, they go they'll be back together because they so used to seeing. <laughs> <laughs> they so used to seeing it and they they used to the get back but now it's 36, been programmed yeah like now that i'm 36 and where i'm at in my life it's kind of like like i don't i'm a father i don't even know i don't really need that guidance no more. i don't need that like i'm 4 or 40 you know what i'm saying like i'm good i'm cool i appreciate everything that he's done i'm able to to, to sell out arenas still back to back year we did two arena tours and just based off all the work that we did collectively for that time so it was good for that time but now it's just time for niggas to, ex to excel and, and and do big and better things and just keep it pushing like he got a whole album with, with currency that he doing he moving in a direction i'm over here doing my business stuff and touring and i'm getting ready for lovers and friends and all type of other shit. so it's kind of like we all doing our thing it's just people ain't seeing it together but i'm at peace question oh god we always talk about the good stuff you know instagram is always good we lit having a good time what about the bad stuff that bow wow has been through Cause I'm a big uh, mental health advocate. Mm -hmm. How did you overcome the transgressions that you've been through? Like, did you ever go speak to a therapist? Did you ever, like, when whenever you were in dark moments, how like did you in overcome Chicago. that? Um, Chicago was no Chicago. <laughs> Chicago when I lived there, it was just I didn't even I I was so young I wasn't even thinking about finding. I think I was more in a a becoming a man thing. Like this shit is weird. Like I'm really okay this is how this feels or you know more responsibility type of thing on I me mean, it really wasn't nothing mental or anything like that um so to speak but for me um i'm a real woman i i get at the i get at the puff i puff puff put that in perspective for me i was in la um before all of that Everything. Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> i was in la and uh it was me snoop nelly we was all kicking it at at, 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 a, at the crib and he just pulled me to the side. And I said this shit too. It's, it's, it's out for people to look up. But I, he pulled me to the side and said, man, when you going to quit that clown ass shit? What you doing? I'm like, what? I'm like, put me to like, really like, yo, like, put me to like, nigga, all that clown ass shit you doing. Like, nigga, you know, you know who you be around? Like, Snoop raised you. Nigga, I'm big homie. Like, you around all of this success, all this shit. And you think we going to allow some clown shit around us? Like, when you around us, nigga, you stamped as one of them niggas. Like, you one of them. Like, I was seeing you come from a kid to now. Like, you are Bow Wow. You need to look in the mirror and understand who you are and stop playing with your brand and stop playing with your name and get on their ass and stop fucking playing around. You don't need no fucking attention. You've been getting attention your whole fucking life. Act like it. That right there was the... I bet. Say less. And a lot of this shit that I've, I've done throughout my career has been self-inflicted. You ain't seeing me... Out crazy, walking out the club, stumbling, fighting outside the club. Nobody like, knows until out. you say it. You feel me? Like I ain't never been out there like that. My shit has just been self-inflicted. You know what I'm saying? Just bullshit. Like why Bow Wow do that? Like why the fuck? He, why would he do that? That nigga know he don't need to do that. Why he do like, the Bow Wow challenge? Why you he had? Like, yeah, like shit. Like I used that. to be getting like, tired of getting calls <laughs> like, um, being around his yeah, ass because exactly. I used to be like, like just, man, listen, I, I'm tired. Hey, man, I'm tired of getting all these calls. And, and I and, can't get mad at it for something that I did. So true. even with the Bow Wow Challenge or, you know, just anything <laughs> or me that. running with the hood, like all of that oh shit. Oh my gosh, you when know, you did you know that thing with the hood. Yo, it's a field trip behind me. They don't know it's me. Oh shit. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get- And mind you, that was my first introduction into like, the, the, the uh, Social the media getting thing. dragged. I, no, no, because I was dead to fuck serious. See, that's the thing people don't know. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> like, was really no, chasing no, 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 you though. No, no, listen, I get anxiety, like, if it's a lot of people around and like there's my, like y'all can't see my homies that's around like i do i'm a weird person like i don't want to say like i'm a weird celebrity but i do the weirdest shit like i will walk if i'm by myself and i'm picking up something and i see like three girls i know that could potentially be bow wow fans or i know they ain't gonna react a certain way i will get on my phone and not be talking to nobody and i will just start talking like hello yep 
Just so like I would just man, I think all the celebrities be doing. I've seen Kanye on a blank phone like, a couple I times. Not, I won't be talking to nobody. I just does be it on depend the phone on your mood? Because is there are there talking. is there times where maybe you will interact with fans too? All the time, all the, all the time. Um, I'm very approachable. Like I'm not one of those guys that's not right now. Or you know, the only time I do that is if I, if if I'm with my kids. That's probably the only time. But I'ma still get to it though. Like I'll just ask them nicely. Like yo, just wait till after we get a need. I got you. I'll take care of you. But I'm very approachable. Like I'm real cool. I think you know that's why I'm able to move how I move and go places and you know just have fun with this this thing that I've been working for my whole life. You know, it's the world is beautiful. I can't be one of those guys that oh, I can't. Oh, I can't go to that city. Yeah. Gotta watch out. It's gonna be yo, 80, you know what's crazy? Hey, the, the, I mean, the, the meet and greet that, that you had uh, on your tour was so funny when, that, when you had a uh, fan that, uh, you know, I don't, remember, I don't know if you remember, but she jumped on you. I, where was we at, man? We was in Atlanta, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. we was in Atlanta and that yeah, girl jumped yeah, on she you. she started humping me. Yeah, like, she start, she, yeah, she started humping you and I was like, yeah. I was like, this what celebrities go through at meet and greets? Because I've never seen a meet and greet before. No, 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 it's, it's wild, yo. Like, you know, and you got to think too, like these girls, they grew up with us. And, and you know, like you look at me or Chris Brown, and you know what I'm saying? Our fans are now, you know, me and Chris, we 30. We in our 30s. So our fans are Horny now. younger. Oh, very. Uh, well, they've been because they got multiple kids. They bring their kids now to, <laughs> okay. the, to the Millennium <laughs> Tour. You know what I mean? And it's their chance. It's like, yeah, you know, I used to have your posters. Now you're in front of me. What's happening? All that shit you talking on them records. Like, it is, is they, 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 <laughs> a little bit, they a little bit different. You know what it be, I'm saying? It be some crazy fans because uh, we we had a couple after parties and it was uh, a couple fans that just kept following from city oh, to yeah. city yeah. You to been going city. Since no, I have a stalker. I think I, I have a real, like a stalker, man. Like no games. Like it's a girl who literally you know, we'll catch the Greyhound, yeah, to like every city I'm in. I'm in Chicago, I'm like, what the fuck? She's right there. I go to Philly, she's right there. I go to um, anywhere. New like, York? New York, she's right there. Have you, you know? called authorities or reported nah, that? No, but like now it's, it's starting to, like you now, think it's cute, now, so you no, ain't no, 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 it, it, you, no, 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 it's crazy because like she'll go online and, and, and go on her live and will tell people like, yo, I need seven, she, she I need money to go see him. I have to get to him. Hmm. And people send her money. Oh my gosh. And she gets to me. And it's like, it's, it's yeah. So Beyonce has Beehive. Right. What do your people call? The wild words? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you call I would, I would take that, but I'm about to give her a percentage over there. But uh, now nah, I don't call them nothing. Like, it, you know, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Cause that they used to be call them Bow Wow Nation or something. The, the only people giving her money has to be one of my fans started that, but it I don't know. Like you know it. what it you know what it is. Being at Black Twitter and how social media comes up with like even with the Bow Wow Wow thing, like they came up with that. Like the internet, the internet be trolling you. Man. Not as much as a lot of other these rappers. Well, they I, used I, to. They yeah, I, yeah, yeah. When, when the Bow Wow to. challenge oh, yeah. and the hoodie that, thing yeah, yeah. and the Howard now, Wow. I feel now, like a Soldier Boy getting Soldier Boy oh, gets yeah, trolled, definitely. but he does crazy. such a good job at playing into it. Like he's yeah. such a, a you know a, a character with Draco, and mm -hmm. you know you know because sometimes can little bro go off the end sometimes. A lot of that's times. my brother. I love him to death. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we had him on the yes, show. He but that's my dog. Soldier goes up. Yeah, but for him, he, he knows how to handle that shit. Like he's he's hilarious. Like he don't care. Like, you, it's it's hard to beat Soldier with the internet. Like it's just impossible. It's something that he's one of the pioneers of this yeah. whole thing. So it's hard to beat the creator of something. You know what I mean? But for me, um, nah, like none of that stuff really like ever really get to me or or none of that. Like as long as the bags are on and the lights is on. <laughs> how do you protect your kids that. from all that? Because I feel like I've seen some comments online where people feel like. You know, your daughter dances like her mom. Her mom mm -hmm. is a professional dancer. Yeah. And people will be like, oh, but they be posting, dance But they prom. be posting that little girl that's like three years old, making them faces and be doing all them dances. You know what I'm talking about? You seen that little girl go viral? No, you're talking about, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. 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 Um, first of all, my daughter is about to be 12 years old and her mom is a professional dancer. You know what I'm saying? So um, all the stuff that she does is pretty much like all the TikTok stuff. It's, you know, and, and she's with her mom doing it, you know, and we make sure what she wears is appropriate. Like, you know, I'm one of those dads, like I don't play. Like Shy knows I don't play. And, and, and I, I, you know, I hate to say it, but she's built like me. Like she will straight up be like, it don't bother her. And she don't see that on her gram. And I think it all starts with what I do. And that's why the past year, like you said, has been a long time since 
people play with me because after that conversation, like I said, it, it kind of hit home and I kind of had to reel it back in. So I'm like, damn, I really have a responsibility now. At first, I mean, I did, but now, now that I got my own kids on the earth now, I got to be cautious on what I do because if I do something dumb, y'all going to report it. And then she got to go to school with her friends. And then all the grown-ups could slide over to her page like, yo, daddy is, yo, daddy. And she got to read that. So I make sure I, I'm supposed to do what I'm supposed to do. So she never even got to endure that type of shit. And so far, so good. Um, how did your daughter change your life? Because it seemed like when you became a father, I started seeing the Shad Moss more than the Bow Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fuck no, I was lit. <laughs> <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, then. Turn this shit up. That's why I'm on, you know. Um, I mean, at... at uh, or how did she yeah, change your life then? Just putting, I would say, certain things in perspective as far as like, I never had patience. So that was something that, you know, when you have kids, um, you learn to, to you learn about patience fast if you don't have any. So that was one thing. And then just women in general, just watching, you know, her go from a little girl to now a preteen and watching what women, this is my first time seeing what a woman goes through from one to grown. Like it's, it's a weird process. But for me, it's just, I think on my relations with women and how I go about women, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole patience thing and being, I talk to her every day, all day. I mean, BT, they know she beating up BT and all types of stuff. But it's just, I would say nothing really dramatic. I think I probably became more fun and like more lit. Like she be running you now. Yeah, I mean, she tries. She's a little like scammer. That's your like damn twin, I tell you that. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, yeah y'all, y'all, right y'all right really like the, the same person. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like. Like right now, she's in this money phase, you know, money, money, and yeah, I blame she my mom. Had all the nice yeah, stuff. I just asked her mom today. I'm like, yo, where, where, the, where the fuck is this shit coming from? She's like, me. I'm like, yeah, I know. I, yeah. And then she doesn't. The crazy thing is, she doesn't even want my money. She wants everyone else's money. What you mean? Like she's scared to ask me. Oh, she, she asks everybody. She asks my mama. She'll call my mama and say, I need two fifty. Then she'll call my aunt <laughs> and then she'll say, I need two fifty. Two fifty. And then she'll call her mom. Mom, I need like three hundred. She almost had a thousand. Then she'll call me and be like, Dad. Her favorite place is Target. So I always get with the Target bill. I need 300, I wanna go to Target. Of course, I'm gonna do it for her. And she's a straight A student and she be on her, you know what I mean? She be, she be doing the stuff. So you look up 12 year old with like 1500 in her pocket. That's what she do. She hustles and spends it all in Target. Look, now now all the parents that's watching this, they uh Yeah, there's gonna be this now, gonna now be the, they this know gonna the be, secret how they getting yeah, hustled. That's, yeah, oh no, that's that's exactly how it goes. They go to multiple family members, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they just add it up till they got a bag on them. So my daughter always she stayed with a bag. But now I'm teaching her like money management. Uh, you know, when she was with me the last time, I'm like, look, I'm gonna see the target with two hundred. Come back with like, don't spend it all, come back with at least like fifty. And she'll like, Dad, that's impossible. I like, know it ain't impossible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Spend or it all. You know, she'll go out with her friends and be like, she'll Apple pay me a request. It'd be like 500. And I'd be like, what the f <laughs> are you doing? Oh, we have a sushi. I wonder but, why But it's her and all her taste. friends. And I think her, I'll be telling her like, you know, your friends might know who daddy is. So you got to be cautious. Yeah. So when you at dinner with your girlfriends and y'all hanging out. Don't pay out for and, everybody. Yeah. Are you trying to pay for everybody you went with? Because I think that's what's going on. Sushi. First of all. Why yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. She, sushi. Yeah. They, they probably like, yeah, yo, 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 dad got to have you, have your yeah, dad. Or she's just like, I'm just calling my dad. So nice. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now, so now I got her in this whole little money management phase that. That I'm that I'm teaching her. That's fair. So yeah. how's the acting going? I know that you know you got her into acting classes. Yeah. You know what? I I felt like she would have enjoyed it more if I lived in LA and was with her more, because you know her first gig probably would have been with dad, so it would have mm -hmm. been easier. Um, but for her, it just felt it was a lot for her. You know what I mean? Like she tried it. She loves it. She likes it. Like she'll still do it. But I think she really wants to do it with me. Like she don't really want to do it with nobody else. And um and I think she just have like a you know bad apple out the bunch for her first rodeo, the auditioning and then having homework and then going to acting classes and having to pass a test tomorrow school. And then I'm watching her calling me crying. And she's, I'm like, you know what? You know- Yeah, she's no too one, young to be that- She's yeah. too young to be that stressed and then, out. And then I tell you like, daddy, I'm stressed. Like you imagine like a 12 year old calling you telling you that. So I'm like, I'm like, listen, you know you're not forced to do this. Like you already know, like just cause daddy do it and you around it don't mean you got to do it. You know what I mean? You can catch on to this later on in life. Right. You know what I mean? Go to school, be a kid. And, and have your fun because those are the things that I didn't have. I was gonna ask, how do you navigate her, you know, being that you have already been in this business for so long? I mean, it's easy. I mean, you know, being that I lived it and I'm still living it, it's, it's really easy to, you know, keep her away from certain things and, you know, how I am. Even even on how I run my, my IG or my social media, it's like before she was born, it's like, it's no holds barred. Now that she here and she runs her own Instagram now, it's like, 
I gotta be careful. I gotta be weary. I gotta put everything on <clears throat> close friends. So it's like, it's just. <laughs> yeah, I like how, I like how you snuck <laughs> that. I like how you snuck that in. You know what I mean? So it's like, it, it, it's 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 different. But I mean, she's she's protected though. Like from her mom to me to her grandparents, like everybody does. It's bigger than just me and what the the media and the blog see when she goes viral with mom or with dad. It's it's a. Do you like that so. though? Because I always I always wondered that. Uh, you know, us being friends, like, do you like your daughter being famous or do you wish that you you guys kind of actually like kept her out of the public eye? Yeah, it was going to be tough. You know, because she is a star. Appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, uh, she is. She's, she is a star. It, it's, it's, um, it was inevitable. I think whether y'all try yeah. to keep her from it or not, it's, like, it's this is tough, her personality. Man. I mean, it, it's very genuine. It, it's tough. And being that she's the first, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, I got my son. So it's like being that she's mm -hmm. the first and living in the social media era this this whatever the fuck we call this shit it's like she's that she's the new era of era of what's to come so because she was already on tiktok to, yeah it's like it's yeah it's, it's hard like she got more followers than like some of these celebrities that's like right. ultra famous like, yeah <laughs> like it's, it's crazy yeah yes. she yeah she famous but she like she she does good with it now but before she hated it like she go to the airport like oh my god dad like i wish they stopped stalking me like they just oh, know man. like they know they, they want pictures i'm not taking a picture like oh y'all weirdos like i don't want <laughs> but that's so weird though like <laughs> people she, bothering celebrity kids it's like oh no they will but she's a celebrity kid with talent yeah sure. yeah well like she got some talent but i was gonna ask how is the co-parenting oh that's lovely i have no baby mama drama not no. anymore <laughs> no not anymore <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of my baby mama drama was like self-inflicted because you was around it. Like a lot of yeah, that's what like, I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'll put it on myself and like my my like my Why, kids. Why you hard mom, to deal with? No, it's just I, uh, no. He's just not really hard to deal with. I I can create. I can make something out of like nothing. I can turn some shit into what it shouldn't even be. You know what I mean? So I'm blessed and I'm lucky to have like two wonderful um you know baby mothers. I hate saying that word though. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because like I'm I'm blessed. They're you know, my son's mom, I don't even think she has a fucking Instagram. So wow. by the alert, y'all ain't gonna you ain't gonna find this. One. So, <laughs> <laughs> like she's really off the fucking grid and like you know that. Like mm -hmm. she's super chill, she's quiet, she doesn't care about none of this shit. She gives you peace. Man, and and the same thing with with, with Joy, with, with Shah's mom. You know what I mean? We had a point in our life where we like we homies for real like right. we don't argue like i don't even know the last time we had an argument like she called me if, if it's something that she needs she need me to take care of it it gets done right on the spot vice versa like we a team team and i think once you come once you get to that point you allow the other person whether it's the baby daddy baby, to, to go about their way i think peace just ends everything when, when both parties is happy everybody happy so that was something you know i watched one of my ogs do it and I kind of took a page out of his book and I'm like damn this shit really does work so yeah I don't got no baby mama drama at all so it was cool when she was on Diddy's boat and all that nah I mean she she knew better you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> Be before we go all the way there nah cause you know it, it for me it's, it's more of a man thing you know what I'm saying like you know me and her we had our discussion about that trust me that might have been the last time she what about the there. video um that was cool nah I wouldn't even like all of that shit really didn't hit like that like it took me because bt was with me it took me like a couple because you know i'm a, i don't give a fuck type of person like no shit bothered me yeah and, and, and he I, don't really be watching the media too me, so it'd be a yeah, lot of so a, a lot, lot of shit I, yeah I'll a lot be, of stuff like, he don't even be I knowing about it later okay so for me it's like oh once i say okay cool i mean just get on the phone and just holler so we had our little rap and then of course me and dude we definitely had our rap i'll keep that between us you know what i'm saying we we had our powwow you feel me? And um, we handled it how we were supposed to handle it. And that was just that. But all men know it's a certain conduct and code you go by. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things that's off limits. And everybody know wives and baby mamas and just some shit that, you know, you stay clear from. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, a sa I'm a savage, but I, I do savage fuckery shit to niggas I don't really give a fuck about or if I don't know you. Are you and Diddy even friends like that to be worried about it? Um, I mean, like I said, we spoke face to face, FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? We was on the phone for like an hour. I think when you at the crib. Man, y'all was on the phone longer than that. Yeah, we was on the yeah. <laughs> It was majority me talking. <laughs> but uh <laughs> but um like I said, we 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 spoke about it. Um I've seen him since, you know what I'm saying? And and for me it's kind of like there's things that I've done. It's like even though this might sound kind of crazy, but Snoop game Snoop raised me, man. So when it comes to certain shit, I'd be crazy. Nothing don't really phase me. So it's like I know sometimes I could be a I ain't shit ass nigga or a thought ass nigga. I get off the drink, it's up. I don't give a fuck who around. Everybody, shit, that nigga girl gonna start looking good. He, so it's like play it, respect, play it. Like it is what it is, but I'm not gonna say 
why I sir. think it could could maybe I could have had some that belonged to him a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So it was like player respect the game. So it was just respecting the so game. He just it got ain't got you back later. It is what it is. I mean, if it's player respect the game, then it's like why even address the matter? You know what I mean? It like is. if y'all are aren't yeah, together. It, yeah, it is. and that's another thing too. I'm, number one, I think a lot of men. And there's a lot of men that do this shit. Just because you have a kid, I'm going to look at the camera and say, just because you got a kid with a woman don't mean she belongs to you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cats be feeling like, that's my baby mama. I still got like, that's property, that's mine. Still like, nigga, nah, nigga, y'all not together. Y'all just a team now. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's certain boundaries and things that you don't cross, but at the same time, she not yours. You know what I mean? She going to move on and get married eventually. She probably have another kid or, you know what I'm saying? Get so, flewed out. Something. Life goes on, so. That's how I look at it. I keep it moving. Can't never fuck up the bag, so I don't, I don't get out of line. Coming, you know, as far as you come in your journey to now, what are some of the things that, uh, and the life lessons that you've learned thus far that you wish you would have knew back then? Don't post everything. Don't post everything. No, that's right. Simple. Don't post everything. Um, my life has been so peaceful these past six and a half years. I don't post nothing yeah because you got you got close friends <laughs> you know yeah every celebrity should have a close friend and man. i have a group chat i think honestly you really want to know the answer why I like bow I ain't been trolled or why ain't nobody been playing with me these past couple years is because i have a group chat somebody introduced me to the group chat that so you let like, off all your steam oh there. my god we gossip more than y'all do mm -hmm. like it's like the the place where the dumb shit that I know y'all would report if i said it i say it there and i and no one sees it but the homies it's safe space. and it's like Yes, why didn't I do this eight years ago? Like, this is the best thing. But for me, don't post everything. You know what I'm saying? And because everything is, is, like you said, everybody's in everybody's business. That's the era we live in now. I respect it. I totally get it. I'm a part of the culture. I totally understand it. But, you know, like I said, a lot of celebrities get mad when certain shit get out of it because it be, it be us. You know, I move different. I move, you know, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, you know, I avoid it. I've been famous, like you said, more than half of my whole life. So, I'm at a point to where now I'm, I'm, I want to live way out and my neighbors have sheeps and no one else is out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I moved out way far out. I don't really care about the club like that. I'd rather bring it to me. I don't really want to go outside and do it. And then I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Then preach, lit, and then y'all got me going, I'm bowing in the club with this shirt off, waving it around. I don't got too many videos. Like I'm not doing it. I'd rather wild out in the cover of my home, my security there. No phone and we all having a good time. You know what I'm saying? So I learned how to preserve a lot of things that I would put out there that everybody would repost. And I now look back at it and I'm like, yo, I like a jackass. Like, I like a whore. Like, but I'm you were like, young, living life, yeah. going yeah. through your experience. I was going to ask yeah. you that because don't you think that comes with age? Because I would, I would also say the same thing. I used to be outside, lit, wilding, baby mamas, all that. Now I stay 35 minutes out. I don't know my neighbors. My neighbors don't know me. I go to the go to the grocery store. Don't nobody oh, know me too. I, I love it. I like it. I love going to grocery. And is store. that uh, you having more control and and like you said, being more private? Is that kind of why you haven't you know come out with you know pictures of your son and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, I won't do it. I won't do it. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's like why? Like it just goes back to like the weird factor. Like when I see celebrities, I'm not saying it's a problem with it, but it's like I don't see pictures of y'all kids. Not saying like I'm not about to <laughs> like not saying like, well, if y'all want some y'all kids, I ain't gonna show y'all mine. It's just like if I wasn't bow wow, y'all wouldn't give to me. You're controlling bucks. the situation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like my son goes. When, when to we gonna see him though? Kinder in real life. <laughs> well, I mean, do you think it would be a little different if like the lead up to it was like not so dramatic, right? No, I still wouldn't have <laughs> no. I, and you know what? It's not even by design. It's just like You just don't feel like it. I don't understand why. Like, pose, boy. All right, psh, might upload this. All right, let me put this up here. All right, let me see what they saying about my boy. <laughs> okay, is it like, something you-, know you weird that sound like when you break it down? Like, is it I, something you weird. and his mom say, you know what, nah, we not doing nah, it? Nah, cause he, my son got it. Listen, at the end of the day, you know the, the mom gonna do what they want. It's her baby too. So of course my son has an Instagram. Oh, right? okay. He, he has, he has- well, Your son baby, definitely baby. got an Instagram. He has an Instagram. Is he like a star like his sister? Nah, he gonna be different. He more <laughs> chill? <laughs> Is he more chill? Like, what he's do you a, mean? He's an incredible kid. He's calm. How, how old he's, is he? He's about to be three. So he's he's calm. He's cool. He's a sweet kid. For him to about to be three, the way he talks is like, you can't talk to him like no three-year-old. You got to talk to him like he five or six because he, that boy can talk already. So it's amazing, you know. He be but, trying to articulate them words. Yeah, he, he, know, <laughs> he, he know what's going on for sure. But now nah, I just always like, 
it's just i don't know man i just have a sense of like realness in my brain where it's just weird i don't feel like like when i go on my instagram it's about bow wow like that's the the celebrity that's the yeah, artist your brand yeah you're gonna get the brand you know what i mean i'm not trying to put personal out there yeah like i just that's i just smart, feel like though. it's weird but you're active with shy on there so yeah. is there ever this thought that like maybe he'll grow up and feel like why wasn't i a part of this part of his life nah i'd I rather i'd rather life. not force it on i'd rather for him to choose it <clears throat> if yeah. he grows up and he sees all of his friends doing it his tiktok dad he sees dad answer, okay cool now turn up have your fun of course that's be my little man you know we gone come on i ain't gonna i can't i'm not gonna keep him in clothes he's not even in clothes now it's just that he with me all the time is the fact that ain't no cameras around and ain't nothing popping but um i think people are kind of curious too because of you know when you kind of denied it at the beginning yeah and that was like me that. not wanting people in my shit okay like it was just okay simpler. so you never actually truly questioned whether he was we, your child or not we did a show right yeah a reality tv show right yep what did i say on, on the reality tv show it was your kid yep i took the test on the show and Bro, he was excited about yeah. it and that's that that's yeah. the funny thing about it because it's almost like if you if you're not yeah. posting what you're doing people then it's a problem then, yeah. like like you know what i'm saying and, and even then i sometimes i'll tell bts that watch this now you know we just did the episode where i just said mom right now watch this dumb show. i'm gonna show you how dumb people be and then people just run with a narrative and i was just playing to it trolling like when i was like i'm listening to billy jean clean up i'm just trolling yeah, just to clear that it. up, because I know people were speculating about that. So. Oh yeah, no, that, that the funny is part is that, that his son was always over there at his at house. The <laughs> Why he was on the internet saying that it was Trolling being denied? Yeah, like, like, like he. Know. It, because like, he, he'll be like he'll be like BT you want you want to know how dumb the internet is Look. but it might have been better to just not say anything at all but it was on, to it, say that but at because the time your I, son has to grow up and see yeah, that nah but I never said the boy ain't mine like I would never publicly said no shit like that but um, at the same time it's documented on camera so it's more of like how dumb can you be to question some shit when I took a test on live TV and was excited now do you, you want on, more kids fuck no what? I'm done. You, you not, not even like, got, would you get, get I got, married? I or? got lucky, man. Like, I got, no, I would never get married in my life. Wow. Never get married in my Bow life. Bow Wow don't want to get married. Why not? No, nah, I'm good. Not even to the girl who hops on the Greyhound to see you from state to state, city to city. No. But why, why, are you, no. uh, why, are you, <laughs> why are you against marriage? Um, I just learned that marriage isn't for everybody, you know? Um, like I said, I'm. I'm, I'm Cause I'm, you almost got married. Couple times. <laughs> But we, I only know one. What was the second one? I don't know the Eric Mendel one. But I ain't gonna tell y'all the first one. Y'all gonna have to do some, 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 some songs. For that I'm one. trying to think who was the first one. We ain't gonna get on who that, but check this out, though. Sierra, it was Sierra. Um, but check this out, though. Sierra, I've been engaged twice. I've been engaged twice. I've been engaged twice. I'm not gonna say who, but I've been, I've been engaged twice. But um, marriage is not. It's Let just Twitter not, gonna find it. What made you get cold feet about it? It wasn't even cold feet. Like I knew I wasn't gonna do it. Damn! Did you ask anyway? <laughs> Why did you propose? Lost in the sauce. I, you know what? I don't. Bow, wanna, your mom is I, in I, the room. No, no, I don't listen. I, 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 listen, I'm I, gonna I, do it. Listen, I think my mom might be happy too, man. But uh, but she check knew it. She wasn't gonna do it. I knew I, knew I wasn't gonna do it. I, listen, I, I was told right by a famous rapper. I'm not gonna say his name. Possibly one. Of, I'll give you this. Possibly one of one. Uh, he's one of the greatest rappers of all time. Jay Z. And. No. Lil Wayne? Mm-mm. <laughs> so, uh, he told me, I'm like, yo, man, like, I don't, he's like, man, you gotta get gay, man. You gotta just give him a ring, man. It's just a ring. Hey, yo. And I'm like, he's, I was like, what? I said, nah, it ain't just a ring. Man, I done gave like 11, 12, 13 of my fuckers away. <laughs> Not Drake. So, so, no, no. But, um. Cause like, he got a necklace full of uh, engagement nah, rings. Nah, nah, but it's one of the greatest rappers of all time, no facts. But, um, I, 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 that wasn't my intention though at that time though um you know what i'm saying with erica or whatever like you know it, it I, I was in love with it and I, you know hopefully i was at that time i wanted it to get to that point but um i just started seeing it not happening being you know once we start going through our little riffraff and things kind of unfolded um that it, it was what it was but speaking on marriage just for me it's just something that i know i can't handle it, I, know, I know how i am i like my space i love being at home being at home alone i love um and don't, ladies, I know, don't jump me when I say this, when I say the word option, I don't mean options as far as like many women. I mean option as far as the world is big. I like to wake up and have my options of doing whatever it is I want to fucking do. Like, you ain't got to worry about me, child. Like, I'm a little unconventional <laughs> over here. <laughs> so it's like, I, you know, I don't want to, and that's just me, right? I got the- the, the, the Soon like options too. Yeah, I, I like to just live free. I want to wake up and, you know, I don't like breakfast. 
I like to go straight to lunch, but if my wife or my girl was here, she might be like, we can't eat Popeye's now. It's only 11.30. Well, that's what and I want. And you don't want to answer to anybody. No, I don't want to answer. I, I don't answer to people now. So it's like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to Compromise even. Compromise isn't really fun. Yeah, I don't want to argue. I don't like that. And I felt like, I just told somebody this. I forgot who it was, but I felt like God put great women in my life and I messed that up. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like I won't, not saying I'll, I'll never meet somebody, but the ones that were in my past life, they were the ones. I know that for Any a fact. ones that you would take back? No, because there's so much time that didn't pass, but in my mind, and I've come to live with that probably until I die, that I've met the ones that I should have been with. And I feel like Angela so was the uh, first engagement. No, it wasn't. Not at all. Okay. Never, never close. Never close. We've always been friends. Like, everybody always thought it was born to something, but we've always remained friends. And I think, you know, if she was here right now, she would tell you, like, Bow was always an advocate of me being happy, finding somebody. So seeing where she's at right now um, with, with Gotti, like, it, it's amazing. Like, she she needs that. Me knowing her and the type of guys that she's dated, I'm, I, I love it. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm happy. She got her real, like, okay. I like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like love a, that. Like a real one. I like Gotti, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, like and you can see it in my face. I'm, I'm extremely happy for her because I understand. I can feel your her genuineness. Yeah. yeah, that's my dog. Like I, you know, like, and I think a lot of people didn't know what it was. It was confusion between us, but it's always remained a balance of friendship. I mean, she's known me for damn near half my life. So I definitely wish her um, the best of luck, but to, exes nah it ain't none that I, i'll take back though what did you learn from your last public relationship um to stay single <laughs> <laughs> if she was here right now she'll she'll be like this guy, he's crazy that's but hilarious just to stay single i'm, I'm in a good like How did you and, get and you gotta make sure you got a pass password on your laptop wait the last time yeah. on that growing up hip-hop episode with that crazy girl how did you get away from her um life life but i will say this i'm wait cool. a crazy girl the one cool. the, the one y'all went on a bike ride My. or something oh oh yeah. oh she's talking about oh the one i forgot she her name she's gonna get she her not, move not, in yeah, or something she not, she not had a baby congratulations to her too she had a she had a baby recently <laughs> congratulations to her. how did you uh she's get a sweetheart though. That, her, i'm talking about corey corey's a sweetheart okay i that like was a lot yeah she was she was you know what I think it was with her though. I honestly, like on, as far as like the show, I just think that once the camera's on and you've never done TV before, the extra kind of gets put okay. on. Okay. Yeah. So you, I think she kind of. So she really wasn't like that. It was just a little extra for the cameras. I, not by producers doing, but you know sometimes you can put the camera on a, a person. They just feel like they got to activate. Yeah, it's not acting. It's, it's and real, they feel so. like even after cameras are off, they still got to be like in. But she did. They tell can't get me out of character. I, she did tell me if I let you hit it, you mind. She, she did. Yeah, <laughs> she was definitely <laughs> like you. Was hers. Hey boy, she brought that suitcase oh. over. I was like, I was like, hey, you know what? Well, Sunday, though, then like you know she in the city still like in Atlanta. I think you so played be, yourself I, with that one though. I, she I, told you. Did she? Do you ever see each other in passing in Atlanta? Nah, nah, nah. She ain't gonna. I, I, and, and everybody I, be like, yo, I, she cold, no, cold. No, like, no, I, I'm like, duh. Nigga, look, why I, I, see, I, I always get the cold ones. Oh, you seen her no, out? No, I'm playing, I'm I seen her out. I text Bow. I said, man, I said, man. That, <laughs> hey, I said, hey, I said, man, that one girl that was on the show, man, she up here in the club and she's looking good, man. That's what I'm saying. So, like, like, right, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I felt like I'm so lucky to, like, all right, I, I haven't had one cocky moment this whole time. But I'm gonna have it right now. I'm gonna oh, give y'all yeah. a bow wow moment. Come on. I'm so Let's go. excited, right? I'm so happy to be me and endure this shit that I've endured when it comes to women that I am good. Like, I feel like I've been with all the girls I ever wanted to be with. I feel like that, it's just extra. If there's anything after now, it's just extra. But I'm so content on where I'm at. I'm at peace. I've, you know, I'm in just conversations and kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in. The, I might. I might fly a girl. I don't even want to stay in the same room as me. I might put her in her own room. Like, just different type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just attacking it just way differently now. But yeah, I'm. I'm good, man. I'm. I'm a lucky guy. Goddamn. I got one more question. How have you stayed relevant for so long? <sighs> um, the culture. That's me coming in at the at the right time. Um. The early 2000s was just like the golden era, man. It was just a moment in, in history that music and film you just had to be a part of. And I think because of that era, and not saying, you know, everybody has made because there's a lot of cats who hit big when I was out and now they're nowhere to be found. Um, but I credit to that, the music, going into the studio, <clears throat> not 
wanting to make a hit for radio or make a hit for the club is how can I make something that's gonna last and withstand time? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's records like Like You that will never die. It's movies like Roll Bounce that will play forever because it's a 70s piece and VH1 airs it. They play it almost every week. Or, you know, just making sure you pick right things, right job, right opportunities that you know are gonna last forever. Like I don't, I don't step into nothing if I know for a fact <clears throat> this won't last. You know what I mean? And I think if you think short term, it's gonna be short. If you stretch it out, um, then, you know, it's, it's gonna last but you're gonna go through it you're gonna hear the the fall off part I'll give them how hot you are when you come out you're gonna battle through the sophomore album jinx <clears throat> excuse me everybody goes to the sophomore album jinx and you know you're gonna make it once you pass the the he fell off part or he's supposed to fall off part right everyone hits like a, a little moment in their career which is normal that happens but it's all about how you come about that motherfucker. And if you can come about that motherfucker and keep going which I did, and I did that right around the time I dropped my third album. That was the only album that I dropped that only sold like 700,000 and went gold. And that was my low point. That was right around the time when I was doing Roll Bounce, like we said. But how I got up out that hole was, I told JD, either we get back cracking or I quit. And next thing you know, that fourth album came and that's when y'all got Like You, Let Me Hold You, Fresh As I'm In, and it was out of my system and flirt, and I'ma flirt and all the other things just start coming after that. So I think that's really it, man. It's just doing good work. And, and, and trying your best to do things that you, you believe in and things that are going to withstand time. You know, if you do that, you'll be all right. Well, Bow Wow, we appreciate you so much. No and I'm um, just, you know, grateful to meet you. And I'm um, glad you came on here despite mm -hmm. what happened in the past. Yeah. I hope we can start a new. Nah, it's all good, man. I, like I said, I've, I've, I'm different now, man. I'm 36. I'm grown. I don't really be tripping. I understand this will come with the game. I signed up for it. So I take the good and the bad. But, you know, it's nothing but love of Baller Alert. Like I said, I, I, I'm in so many nightclubs hosting and getting my bag. Every time my bottles come out, I see Baller Alert. It's a black card. It's a, it's a, it's <laughs> branding. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everything. Y'all got the club on smash. So what's done but love? I know, like I I say, know a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. And y'all, and y'all the culture. You know what I mean? So anything that's, that's 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 moving the culture forward, and you know, it's a place where we can go to and get our news. And I understand everybody want to be nosy and all that. You know what I mean? So I, I told totally you. But you it. handling it though. You oh, handling yeah. it's, it though. I've been doing it too long, so it's yeah. like it's like flowing water to me. And it's, I'm just so proud nothing. of your growth. You appreciate you, it. You doing that's it a out here. Man right there that we're yeah. talking to today. Mm -hmm. yeah, all That's that. not Lil Bow Wow. Yeah, all that. Lovers and Friends coming up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got to do that one. Yeah, Lovers and Friends coming up. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be really crazy. Bro, that is the dopest R&B lineup I think I've ever, yeah, I've seen, ever seen in my, in my life. life. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, I'm not just saying this because we all own it, but I really feel like, it, you know, this might be the biggest one of the year. I think because of the theme of it is, you know, the month, like, the, the, not saying no one has talent nowadays, but you get what I'm saying. From the 2000s up, this is the this is the man. Don't judge me. I'm gonna be in there like I'm gonna be at the concert got, like a fan. You got me. You got 50. You got Chris. You got Usher, Mariah. You got Missy. Boys Elliott. I mean, man. Absolutely. And then of course, you know, we got the we got the documentary coming out. We got the movie coming. Um, I just feel like it's time now. What, what's the documentary? I was mine. It's the it's the Bow Wow story. It's it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I've seen that the trailer. Story the trailer. Or the Shad Mall story. Um, I don't have a name for it yet, but the trailer's been shot. Um, I'm sure y'all. Trailer's crazy. Yeah, it, it's 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 unlike anything else. And you gotta think like, I have such a unique story that it just has to be told. And I'm not the type of person to be waiting until I'm 50. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I already said, I'm like BT. Like y'all give me my give me my give me my award. Yeah. I want a lifetime view. achievement. Man, give me mine now. Like I already don't want the or the hip hop awards. That. Give me mine now while I'm young and I can Get do what I do. It. Yeah. And and if you think about it, I've done 20 plus years. That's that's. You know, I just did it at a young age, so they a lot of times they don't want to give it to you too because of the age thing. But it's like, shit, you like BT, give me my flowers give me mine now. now. Give me like, my flowers yeah, now. Yeah, I want mine now. I feel like go ahead and give me all that. So we got the documentary coming. Um, Any books that, coming besides your mother's book? Nah, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do a book. Why not? Um, that's what I got the documentary for. I know, but you can't put it in the you don't you don't. I'm a vis I'm a like a, a visionary. Type but you can get I, I somebody to write it for you. You could just tell. I them. wouldn't even read it. I'll be like. Oh my God, I can't read this shit. <laughs> what are the people? Like, I, I, I know, I gotta. I, I like the vision things. I like to watch things. Okay. Like, no, no, I agree. I, agree. Like, I, love, I love documentaries, so I'm a documentary buff. So. Yeah, like I just had a, a, a girl over and she brought her Bible over to my house. This how you know I'm getting, this how you know I'm getting very comfortable with y'all. And um, she tried to read me some scriptures. And I told her, I said, she's like, Get out, you're on your phone while I'm trying to read the scriptures. I said, look, it's not that I'm not hearing you, it's that you reading it to me 
if you put T.D. Jakes on this big ass hundred inch TV, I would sit here and watch him talk <laughs> that's for, terrible, for that's two hours. But I, but that's just how I receive it. I feel yeah, yeah, it. I receive I it, it that way. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, it's hard for me to. You could have looked at her while she was reading. Yeah, but if she was like, "Can you read?" Then she was like, "Yo, read this. Oh, read that okay. part." And it's like if I read too much, I get sleepy. Sleepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with it's that. Something. Like I, I'm only reading if I'm in the mood to. But for the yeah, most part, I'm I'll watching get, something. I'll get sleepy. Like I get sleepy reading Instagram. Like reading left and right is like a hypnotist. I mean, I just doze off. Yo, that yo, that documentary is gonna be crazy. I'm excited though. about it. Nah, me so too. you got the doc coming. What else you got coming? Got Any comedy coming. shows? Cause you said um, you would you ever go I, to comedy? I I would definitely and do live more. that dream out. Um, no, no side quest. Nah, but I will tell you what I do love, enjoy doing. I love um, my branding, like all my businesses with you know Red by Kiss and of course Kiss Colors. All oh, the do rags. Yeah, I'm yeah. killing them. I'm, I'm How'd like, you get into that business? Uh, my mother. Um, my mother. Came to me Shout out Mama and, uh, presented an idea. At first, I thought like, uh, who asked? Like, oh, here we go. They're gonna meme me again. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about like, okay, what? And then um, I really didn't. I really wasn't taking it serious at first. And my mother was just on it, like believing in it. And um, I'm like, all right, let me just buy in. Cause, you know, my mom always comes to me with stuff, and I'm always like half assing. So I'm like, let me buy in. Let me see what's going on. And then it clicked in. I'm like, damn, like, hold up. Like, do rags has been a part of the culture mm -hmm. forever. And it always be random ass people on a do rag that you don't you, know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, I have braids, waves, fade. Like, I've videos all my videos I'm wearing do-rags I'm like why would not take the opportunity to to to, <laughs> to go in business with the biggest hair product hair accessory company in the United States of America which is probably worldwide and I'm like all right let me start taking this thing serious and I started seeing once we start working together and we started I started to see the product and how fast they were moving and I'm like oh this is for real and then I'm driving Bob in New York I see my face all on the thing I want to get a haircut for my barber here in Atlanta and hopped out my car and I just see my face right there. I got embarrassed. I'm like, oh shit. No. Cause it was like a beauty supply store. Not cause I was trying to be low key. I was bumming that day. I ain't want nobody to no, know. I'm, I'm sick of before you with this low key Before stuff. I end up on ball alert with the picture of me bumming. Y'all know yeah, your whole yeah, yeah. You know how we do so, now. Like, <laughs> so, um, but I'm having so much fun with that. And like now, you know, with, with the other side of the company with Kiss Colors and Care, we just uh, inked the deal with Walmart. So now, not only are we in all the beauty supply stores everywhere, yeah. but now I'm in every walmart too so time for that wrestling contract too yeah like yeah see everybody was talking about the wrestling thing too and you know now you see a lot of people diving into wrestling but hopefully the opportunity the opportunity is still hanging there though um because uh you was there in miami mm -hmm. when, when aw came to the to the millennium tour and uh, I, I met those guys that's a whole different yeah. fan base and i grew up off wrestling so a lot of the things are gonna see me get into and get involved with um like when the wrestling thing came came about it went everywhere it was just like a i mean it went everywhere but that's something that is a part of me that people don't know. My childhood, you know, wrestling played a big part. You know, even when I go on tour, if you go to my concerts in any city I go to, when it's my tour, if it's a Millennium Tour or a Bow Wow Tour, you see the production is all based off wrestling. I, you know, a lot of artists still from other artists are getting inspired by artists. I don't, it's not an artist that inspires me. You know, I might look up to someone, but you don't inspire me. Like wrestling and the production aspect of how they put it together is probably some of the best production in the entertainment business you will ever see Agreed. in your life. Rock, Stone Cold, yeah, all and, that. I, and I and I and I um yeah, so I definitely take from those guys. But shout out to the AEW though, man. We definitely gonna make some things pop. And uh it should have been happening, but I had to go on tour in Australia in the top of January so we could make it happen. But um holla at me, Jay. This still on the table. It ain't it ain't went nowhere. Any new music? I know you had the uh the 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 uh the album or EP that you were gonna do about all your exes. Whatever happened with that? I was drunk. I was I was okay, going through. Okay, so that's not like ever happening. <laughs> That's not ever happening. That will never happen. I was going through a phase. See what love makes you do. See, when I'm single, I was in a relationship and it was so toxic and chaotic that it made me really go to the studio and sit there in front of the <laughs> mixing board and say, you know what? I'm about to write a whole album about all the shit I went through with my exes. Each song going to be music about, is about though. each girl. And I knew what that was going to do, especially in the social media. That it would have been like the biggest. But then, you know, players don't tell. You know what I'm saying? Players don't tell. So that's why a lot of times you even here, I'm like, oh, well, old girl or da -da -da, not saying no names, but players don't tell. But I would never. Yeah, I was in a dark moment and I was drinking. How do you get and out of your dark like, moments? I asked you that earlier. You deflected. No, no, no. But it wasn't like no mental thing. I was just like a, a breakup. You know, you go through some toxic shit. You just you, you, you think with your heart. You think with your emotions. Yeah. So and the bottle and the, the, the liquor didn't help. Not at all. It was coming all out. I was ready to just uh, tell everything. <laughs> <laughs> was it you supposed to stop drinking at one point? I, I quit. So you don't drink anymore? Mm -mm. To this no, day? No, 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 no. I had my birthday run was just too much for me. I think 36 is catching up to the boy. And I felt it. Philly took me under. I think, okay, I think I might have had one shot. 
Mm-hmm. Right in moderation, it's been very. Mama, shot, mama, mama I, is this accurate, mama? Yeah, I, I, I she you don't know, know, you know but what Mel, I, Mel, no, no, Mel, Mel, no. There's no alcohol at my house. Like you know, I, I just yeah, there's no alcohol. He just at my ain't house went to the liquor store yet. No, I'm just. Playing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. So you just smoke. Say that. Yeah, I do my thing. Okay. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, listen, man, you got to give people some motivation, man. You've been in the business for 20 plus years. I want you to look at that camera right now. Give people some motivation, cause now it's time for a pep talk. All right, this is the part where I'm supposed to say my name. Yep. But I'm not going to say it because y'all know the face, so I'm just going to go ahead and get straight to the motivational part. But nah, anything in life you want to do, pursue it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody say that you can't do nothing <clears throat> and, and when, when you can. You know what I mean? Just just stay focused on the task at hand. Stay away from knuckleheads. Stay focused. Keep it going. Keep moving. Stay positive. And um, go for what you believe in. And, and that's all I got to... That's all I stand on. And um, practice safe sex. Wrap it up. Oh!